So you're going to hear um, the voice of Grandma Yola Martinat Banker. <clears throat> and she's, at first here, she's going to be talking about um, my grandpa Bob, uh, Robert Lemuel Banker, his father, um, which is um, John Lemuel Banker, the one that looked like FDR and had a lot of charisma. So she's going to talk about him. Did they still use him back then? Yeah. So she's just saying about how um, he he had a job selling buggies uh, before cars when uh, horses, you know, the horse and buggy was used instead of the car. Um, so here we go. For uh, Minneapolis Moline. And for that, he sold buggies. He sold buggies. Mm -hmm. What's a buggy? A, a horse and buggy. He sold the horse and the buggy. Not the horse, but just the buggy. The buggy. Mm -hmm. Do they still use them back then? Yeah. Oh, my God. He sold horse and buggy. Uh-huh, but he could see that the cars were coming so that the buggies were out of... Uh, they, you may, let me tell you a little bit. Let me, let me tell you a little story about him. Okay, that's good. John Lemuel Banker. He was Banker. a traveling salesman, too, sometime. Okay. Wasn't a traveling salesman. Okay, sit down somewhere. And, uh, well, I'll finish about the... So, he went into selling uh, tractors. Uh, Minneapolis Moraine was a company that sold tractors and, like, uh, water pumps to pump the water. Uh, in fact, he sold the one that they used for many, many years. Raspberry Farm. Mm -hmm. They made a sale there. So mostly tractors. Oh, yeah. But this is this story, I believe, is before they were married. And one bone of contention about Grandma and Grandpa Banker was that his Grandpa Banker, John Lemuel Banker, was rather a, his mother was very stern woman. And somehow she would not let her son, John, Grandpa Banker, Lemuel Banker, get married. She wanted him all to herself. Um, and about him, John Lemuel Banker, the one that looks like uh, FDR, um, she said that uh, he sold a water pump to Knott's Berry Farm and... Uh, he actually met the, you know, Mr. Knott uh, while he was there selling the water pump to Knott's Berry Farm. And, um, and then, um, you know, after meeting him, um, I think maybe he gave them like a free dinner or something at the chicken dinner restaurant and all of them went or something like that. See if we have her say anything about that sometime. But yeah, it sounds like... Uh, he, you know, John Lemuel Banker, he might have been just a little bit of like a mama's boy a little bit, but, um, um, you know, just didn't want to upset his mother, but, okay. And, and she was so strong-willed, and he was so kind and gentle that he listened to her, and so he couldn't get married until she died. So that made Grandma Banker a little bit, um, uh, frustrated because she liked him a lot and she wanted to get married before she was too old to have children because family was very important to her like it she really uh she really wanted children and liked children and and uh, so that so consequently she they didn't get married i believe until she was 38 so they didn't get married until john lemuel banker's mother died yes uh -huh. oh my but God. before that uh, he had a brother, but I don't think this is, no, this did not involve his brother at all. Uh, in those days, uh, there was no welfare, of course, and the people that were very poor, they put them kind of in with people who had mental deficiencies. And for some reason or other, I don't know exactly what it was, he had to go out what they called the, not the insane asylum, but uh, a 
name like that, but it was not, it was really a lot with poor people, but there were some people that were a little bit off, you know, too. So it, who was either, and was this person either insane or poor? Was it the he was insane. <laughs> who? I, I'm, I'm, I don't, he was not a relative, I think. He was just a, a, a patient. Emotions of who? Well, uh, of this of this home that that they called it. Uh, the, I, they called it. I, they didn't call it an insane asylum, but they called it a. There's a special name. Something for the uh -huh. poor. They, they they put all the the poor farm or something like that. Uh -huh. They put all poor people and all insane people in one place. Yeah, but why was? Well, Grandpa, ha Grandpa Banker, I believe, had to make some kind of a delivery. When she says Grandpa Banker, she means um, Grandpa Bob's father, uh, John Lemuel Banker, the one that looked like FDR. So as a salesman, he had to make a sale or a delivery there. Uh, out. Whoops. Why was... Well, Grandpa, ha Grandpa Banker... I believe, had to make some kind of a delivery uh, out to, this, to the poor farm. I think they called it the poor farm. Yeah. And this man, most of the time, he was, uh, he, his mind was all right. But once in a while, it, he flipped. This man or mm -hmm, the man who was on the poor farm. But he was well enough to... Like maybe they trusted him to go to town to get maybe some vegetables or whatever. Oh, he had some to do with Grandpa Banker. Yes, he did. Uh, he uh, he had a gun. Oh. And um, for some weird reason, I don't know whether he wanted a ride back to the poor farm from in town, and Grandpa Banker was either going to the poor farm or he was nice enough to take him to the poor farm, and so this man had a gun, and it was loaded, and he pointed it at Grandpa Banker, and for just no reason at all, he says, I'm going to shoot you, ah. and uh, of course, you know, we was about, you know, like a foot and a half away from him, because he was taking him with his horse and buggy, and he clicked the gun, all right. But somehow uh, it was not inserted properly, the, 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 the oh, shell. Phew. So by this time, Grandpa Banker, being an ex pugilist, was a fighter. Oh, he was a fighter at once. Yeah, he did it for he did it for money. <laughs> boxer, boxer. That's when that's when guys just barehanded. Somebody would come into town, and they'd say, okay. Who's going to take on this guy? If you can stay in the ring for three rounds, you're going to get $10 or something like that. And he did that kind of for a, a pastime, but also for money, because uh -huh. he needed money. Everybody needed money in those days. So, um, so then he wrestled the gun away from him, so he came this close of getting shot right in the face, if that gun had not misfired, oh my God. he would have been, uh, you know, in about a thousand little pieces. And then there'd be no us, because um, that was before he got married and had kids, I think. So, um, so then he wrestled the gun away from him, so he came this close of getting shot right in the face, if that gun had not misfired, oh my God. he would have been, uh, you know, in about a thousand little pieces. Was this before or after Grandpa was born? This was before they were married. Oh, my God. Bye-bye us. Bye -bye. Yeah, I, <laughs> I believe this was. I'm not sure about that. So you can make it any way that you want. Bye-bye us if that thing was, yeah. that gun was loaded. Yeah, yeah. so by that time, Grandpa Banker had wrestled the gun away from him. Whew. So that was, that was kind of scary. Oh, I know. It filters the water, so instead of muddy brown, like the Colorado River is, it turns a real beautiful, 
This is when they went to have a soupy um, in the Grand Canyon. Um, oh, well, maybe we'll do that next time. <laughs> 